Do you want to see more of your prayers being answered? Are you tired of praying and asking God for things and not seeing any results? Today, we're going to talk about how you can pray more effectively. Okay, so this week we are focusing on prayer, and today I want to share with you three practical ways that you can improve your prayer life and hopefully receive more answers to your prayers. And the first is to pray with a pure heart. There are at least five reasons why God says that you can pray as long and as hard as you want to, and God may not answer your prayers because your heart is not pure. And the first is if there's any marital conflict. God's like, look, if you've got issues with your spouse, you need to work that out first before you come and ask me for anything. Second of all, if I have offended somebody and I know I've hurt them, I need to go and seek their forgiveness. Third of all, if somebody on the flip side has offended me, then I need to make sure that my heart is not filled with any anger, any bitterness, any unforgiveness before I come to God in prayer. Also, if I know that there is sin in my life that I have not yet confessed, I've not repented of, God says you need to confess that first before you come to me. And finally, if I know that I'm asking for something with the wrong motive, in other words, I'm asking for selfish reasons. God says, you need to check your heart and make sure that you're asking according to my will. And so God says, if there's any of these five things going on, that's an indication that our heart is not pure and God is not obligated to answer our prayers. But the second way that we can pray more effectively is to not only pray with a pure heart, but to pray persistently. Now, this is where many of us fail. Do you know why many of us do not see the answers to the prayers that we're seeking? It's because we quickly give up in prayer. We pray and ask God one or two times for what we want, and then when God doesn't answer our prayers, we give up. The Bible says in Matthew 7, 7, Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. And so let's think about you go over to somebody's house. You don't just knock on the door one time and expect them to open the door. We keep knocking because why? We know that they're home and if we keep knocking, eventually we're going to get an answer. And in the same way, God is inviting us to continue to knock down the doors of heaven and seek his face until we get an answer from him. I'm reminded of the parable in Luke 18 where this widow is crying out day and night for justice to this judge and the Bible says that the judge refused to answer her but after a while because she kept knocking she was so persistent the judge was like look I'm so tired of hearing you that I'm gonna answer your prayers just because I'm tired of you bugging me and so the Bible says that Jesus taught his disciples this parable so that they would always pray and they would never give up and so the third way that we can pray more effectively is to pray precisely have you ever noticed how many of our prayers are very basic and general? Now I'm reminded of the story in Mark chapter 10 where there's this blind guy and he is crying out to Jesus, have mercy on me, Jesus have mercy on me, so much so that he's getting on everybody's nerve, he's so obnoxious, they're telling him to shut up. And Jesus invites this blind man to come to him and he says to the man, what do you want me to do for you? And the man's like, look, I'm blind, I wanna see. And the Bible says that he received his sight. Now the point of the story is not that he received his sight. The point is that Jesus was inviting him to be specific and think about and answer the question, what is it precisely that you want me to do for you? And so my question is, how would you know that God answered your prayers unless you prayed specifically. And so God is inviting us today to no longer pray these simple, rote memory, basic, general, lazy prayers, but instead to be bold enough to come to him and be specific about what we want him to do and trusting that he is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that we could ever ask or think. If this video has blessed you in any way, please do me a favor and share it with someone else who you think also will be blessed by these videos. If you haven't done so and you're watching it on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And finally, look out on this Friday at 10 a.m. for the second part of our War Room Week on how to pray for other people. You don't want to miss that video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on The Beat.